Hi everybody, this is Cheryl here. Um, I'm doing a practice video, I guess. I don't know, we'll see if it goes up. It'll be a video video, but um, right now, I'm just gonna see if I can do this. It's probably gonna take forever because I'm not even sure if I have editing software on my computer or not. We'll see. I guess when you see the video, you guys will get your answer. <laughs> but I had, um, I got my practice hand, as you can see, and I'll be honest, this thing is not easy. I don't know, you guys who use the practice hands, let me know. I think it's easier to do my own nails than it is to do this thing's nails. Um, but I was playing with it a little bit um, when I got it yesterday. So <laughs> that's what I kind of did. Today I saw I was able to put an extension on here because I, I wanted to do something longer. And this is the the C curved curled claw tip um, square, which I used to carry these in my store. I just haven't relisted them. Um, if you guys are interested in them, just let me know. Um, these are really nice. I love them. These are in the nude color. But anyway, um, I've had some questions about, well, I had one person ask me, how exactly do you apply these? Um, there are several ways. I'm just going to focus on one way and the other thing I'm gonna do um, is it's kind of uh, the video I did where I said that how to mix my glitter mixes in acrylic this is the other way that you can do it and again a lot of my subscribers probably already know how to do this so I'm just um, gonna sh show how how I do it for people who don't know how to do it and again in no way am I not I am a pro I'm not a professional um, <laughs> I'm just having fun, and if you guys, you know, whatever, if you don't like it or if I'm doing it wrong, I really don't care because this is how I do it, and if somebody can learn from it or get any ideas off of it, then awesome. So with that being said, I'm having fun here, and I'm not a professional, So, and I'm also getting used to doing a practice hand, which I am not liking. So anyway... um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this mix here that I kind of was playing with some of my new colors and I was playing with what kind of mix to make and um, I'm going to use this and then while I do that I'm going to um, apply some of these just to kind of answer the question how to apply those and this is, you know, there's several ways to do this. You can do it in gel or whatever. I'm doing it in acrylic. Um, so basically if this this is I don't have this available in my store so it's it's like if you were to take one of my mixes I showed you how to just dump it into acrylic this is the secondary way and I'm going to first um, get my monomer I'm sorry about the bouncy camera I'm not really set up that that well this is my first time using this and I'm kind of stuck in a corner here I don't I don't really like this <laughs> so um yeah I should have thought this through a little bit better um so all right I got my monomer yeah I gotta think this through a little better for my next video I was trying to get it to where you guys could see what I'm doing and get close up to the nail but I don't know we're gonna have fun with this so this is just my nail bed and I'm just going to apply it. And again, like I said, I am in no way a professional here. This is just how I do this. Um, and I don't know why, but doing my own nails, it's so much easier than this thing. I don't know if it's because it just is awkward. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? <laughs> and I just spilt monomer on my hands. So, yeah, I got to come up with a better system. So, this is just my nail bed sparkle. And I do have the nail bed sparkle acrylic powder um, available in my store if anybody's interested in it. It's, um,. It's got the mermaid effects glitter in there, so you can see it's uh, got the multiple rainbow colors in there. 
Um, I bought one of those smile line cutters and I wasn't impressed with it. So I'm just, yeah. Doing my own, doing my own, whatever. Okay, so that's that. And then now what I'm going to show is, uh, put my acrylic sparkle there. This is um, a glitter mix, and this is the other way to do it. I have my clear acrylic powder here. And then what you're going to do is um, pour it on a paper towel just a little bit. I actually put more than I needed out there. <laughs> I could do a full set with that amount. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to try to do this. Oh, this is crazy how I have this set up here, guys. If I was left handed, this setup would be perfect. So, what you do with this is um, you can either lay a fine, fine, um, a, a clear down here first if you would like. I'm not gonna. I mean, if this was your natural nail, you probably would like to lay a very fine um, layer of clear acrylic. It, so when you go to, you know, take them down, you could, you don't have to go too far if that makes any sense. Sorry, it's morning here and my brain's not functioning. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab a little bit of acrylic and it's going to be grabbed wet and then I'm just going to kind of dip it in the paper towel here and then you apply it this way um, and then you just kind of pat it down and blend it in um, and keep in mind you're going to be capping this with clear so you don't want to put it on too thick because you are going to be capping this And one thing I did learn about this practice hand that I wasn't sure about until I practiced on it, which I'm glad I did, is yes, you have to prep these these nails, you know, sand them down um, before you put acrylic on them. Otherwise, when you get done, everything will pop off. Um, so that was fun learning experience right there. Um, So, sorry, I'm trying to get this to, yeah, that's that's the fun part about doing it this way is you could be a little bit more strategic about where you want to place things with this versus if you mix it all up in acrylic. This way I have a little bit more control. I hope I was in frame. I didn't even look into my camera. Um... I wish I wouldn't have picked the thumb to do. The hand does not bend like I would like. Um, sorry about the noise in the background there. My son's alarm is going off and it will probably continue to go off for the next hour because he just doesn't get up. If I go in there and wake him up, <laughs> he yells at me, so I just leave him be. So, yeah. <laughs> I just need a little bit more just to put in a few little places here I see on the end. And again, I don't know if this is coming in frame or not. I'm just kind of doing this here. Um, to try to, and then I don't, you know, I didn't use acrylic there. I just picked it up with my wet brush just to place some things here on the tip that was missing. Um, just to kind of keep the colors normal here or like working together, I guess you'd say. 
So, all right. So, I got the mix everywhere. Now, if I want to strategically place something like a flower, I can do that. Um, so, I'm just going to... These are my blue... Blue daisies. Um, now... There are several ways you can do this too. Like I said, this is just the way I do it. Um, so I, where do I want to put this thing? I'm going to put it, I don't know, maybe we'll put it here. I don't know what kind of design I'm going to do, but we'll put it here. So the daisy's there. And then when I go to cap it, you'll see it's in there so I'm gonna set this aside because I dumped out way more than I needed and then this is just my clear and I'm gonna cap the nail again this is gonna be interesting because I do not have um, this is a terrible angle for me And what I'll probably do is I'll probably do the filing um, off camera and then I'll come back and do the design after I'm done filing it on camera. So, like I said, I'm not sure if I can edit this or not. Hopefully I can. I, um, when my computer was hacked, I, I did have an editing software in there, but... <sighs> I did a complete total wipe on it, put a new hard drive in there. So I don't even know if that's in there, but I'm sure I could find something. So we'll see. Like I said, you guys, when the video goes up, if it's edited, you know I figured it out. If it's not, I guess you guys are going to fast forward. So I, uh, I'm waiting for my bigger brush, too. This brush is too small for me. Need, whoops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so, alrighty. We're, this is a very long nail, by the way, too. So, um, it takes a lot of powder to do this. Hopefully by the time I come back, I will have had him shut that stinking alarm off. And I'm sorry, my brush keeps hitting the um, tripod thingy. It's bouncing. So, all right, now I'm going to just cap the end. I dropped it. Yeah, see, it's just things in the way. My my um, brush keeps hitting it. I have. I will definitely find a better setup for this for my next tutorial. Otherwise, tutorials are just going to be too difficult for me to do. I got to figure this out. Um, because I'm putting this on way thicker than I normally would even just because I'm trying to just get it done here, guys. So. It looks good. We're all capped in. Um, I did see a spot here that I want to put a little bit more on. Just right there. And I'm going to have to... Just a little bit here. So this is my very first time using a practice hand. Mine is yesterday when I practiced a little bit. Um, so far, 
those of you who use one of these, I have a lot of respect for it because honestly, this is nothing like a real person, okay? <laughs> so, all right, so there we are. We're all done with that. I'm going to stop the video right now, and um, I'm going to shape the nail, and I'm going to um, buff it down. So I'll be back when I do the design, and you'll be able to see it. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back and I, um, I filed down the nail. Um, now I'm going to just put a little design. And again, I am, I got to, I have to, have to, have to do <laughs> a better setup. But I'm using um, these paints here. They're acrylic paints, which means um, they're going to take a little bit to dry. So I'm going to probably have to do a third part of this. Um, I'm going to use my dotting tool, and, sorry, my phone was going off there. Um, I'm going to use my dotting tool here and uh, uh, put some dots here. It's going to be similar to this nail here that I did, because um, that's the same mix I was playing with. This is just a longer nail, so I don't really know. I'm just going to go and see what happens. So I'm using the bigger dotter. I got my paint on a lid here. I use these lids because I can just peel, let it dry and peel it off. I don't have to play with it. So... And then I'm just putting those dots around the smile line. And then I'm going to um, take this thinner brush here. And we're going to do some purple and some white, um, like a zebra. Um, the paint feels a little bit wet. Sorry, my brush is hitting the thing. I'm going to try not to cover my little flower I put in there, but I might end up doing it. Um... We'll see. All right, and then I have a little bowl of water here. I'm just gonna rinse my brush out and start with the purple. I make sure I'm in frame here. We're just going to do this. off my brush and then um, I'm going to use a smaller dotting end to just add some some dots here I don't exactly have the steadiest of hands guys so as you can see my hands shake horribly I'm 
going to put some purple dots on here. Whoops, I used the wrong end. <laughs> Not paying attention here. The purple paint is a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit more interesting <laughs> to work with. So we're gonna go do that. I can see where I want more white. I'll wipe off my tool here with some white. I'll start here. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, well, I did that so. Let's see. All right, well, we're going to let that dry, and I will be back to finish this off. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, basically, all I did was, um, I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is right here. Um, I just put some uh, Top Coat ASP gel on the top and then cured it. Um, and it's nice and shiny now. Um, this is what I always do prior to putting on alloys because alloys can be kind of hard to get off. So I always use this type of gel. I know it's the, the tacky layer type. Um, I've had this discussion with a few other nail techs where they said don't use the tacky layer type gel when you're doing acrylic nails. But I'll tell you my reason behind it, and my reason behind it is when you're putting big alloys on, it's easier to pop them off because you got the gel between the acrylic and the alloy, and then you can just take um, a cuticle snipper, which I should have right here. You can then take a cuticle snipper and just kind of grab the acrylic that's holding the alloy on, and it'll pop it off, and you don't have a big hunk of uh, acrylic still on your nail it's going to actually be stuck to the alloy so I'm going to show you here really quickly how I apply these um, larger alloys and I just um, I was thinking as I was looking at this I wish I would have put maybe some black lines or something in there but um, I didn't so and I did end up covering up the little flower but that's okay I mean this is just practice right so <laughs> um and I'm still getting used to this silly hand, so um, bear with me, guys. So I got my clear, clear acrylic here. I just kind of clean my brush a little bit and my monomer. And I just pick up um, just a small ball, and I kind of, I'm at an odd angle, I kind of dry the ball out a little bit. And I want to put the bow just right in the center so I'm going to just make sure that's, uh, can you guys see that? Yes. Okay, good. Um, just do that. And this one's big enough. I can just pick it up with my fingers and just lay that on there. Of course I'm shaky. And then, um, I'm just going to kind of push that acrylic so you can't really see it so it doesn't look like a mess um, up underneath there and just make sure you could just push it down with your thumb make sure it's on there good but you also don't want to have a bunch of acrylic honking up under there so it looks like a hot mess so you just kind of push that under and wait for that to dry and that's kind of the finished look of how that's going to be. It's very pretty. And then um, now what I would do 
to ensure that it stays on better is take some acrylic here and this is why it's so much better to um, for me anyway to do this over that gel because this is a lot of acrylic holding this thing on and those of you who have pulled these off know it kind of sucks having um, big hunks of acrylic to file off where this way it'll stay on because I've, I've worn these for weeks on end and they've never popped off um, I don't know if my hand will turn the other way. We'll see. Um, they've, it's, you know, they've, what it was, I, they never popped off, but, um, you know, I've even got them caught on drawers and stuff and they never came off. But as soon as you get underneath them with the cuticle nippers, the entire thing will come off acrylic and all in one pop because the gel is there. So basically that's all I do then is on my own nails is I just make sure that I have it nicely on there with acrylic but I don't want it to show um, sorry about that I don't want it to show um, through because there's nothing worse than looking at a really nice set of nails and have big, massive acrylic around these um, alloys. So there's the finished product. Um, that's how I do it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, so there it is. Let me shut this and move this because I am in a weird spot here. Um, and my phone keeps ringing, so I'm going to have to cut this video off so there it is um there's the nail i hope you guys hope it was helpful hope you guys like it so maybe i'll come back after i have a better setup and do some real tutorials so <laughs> anyway see you guys later bye